This is round four of Mansions of Madness. Okay, so I've got investigators headed over to the west side of the board, to this door specifically, because as far as I can tell, that's the attic. Or, or it's a passage leading to the attic. Partly because it's the only door left on the board, like literally just the only one left that's unexplored, but also uh, because I, uh, Charlie Kane, way up here in the northeast corner, found a brass key. This door has a brass doorknob with a lock on it. It's locked. I'm assuming that the brass key goes with the brass doorknob, thereby confirming probably that it's the attic. Because he found the key with a note about a ritual that was going to take place in the attic. Or I'm making all of that stuff up and I'm completely wrong. But I think I'm right. I'm going to get... so And we, to, to further complicate things, we have this evil cultist who sort of appeared came in from outside, I guess, through a secret passage, and is probably, well, certainly, going to attack Meem as soon as possible. So we need to get rid of the cultist. And we all know the person for that job. That is, of course, Rita. She's going to move one, two, three, because that's what she does. She moves three spaces when she moves. And then she's going to move one, two... And then she's going to gain Carson's, uh, she's going to gain an, an extra action from Carson's ability to provide her with an extra um, action. And you know what? It, <laughs> I'm now reading Carson Sinclair's card again. Um, and to me, this looks like I'd never noticed this before. I've been playing this wrong in real life. And on this recording, it looks like his special ability costs an action. He's the only one... Yeah, he's the only one like this. That doesn't seem quite fair at all. That makes him a lot less appealing as a playable character. Everyone else has just a free ability. For whatever reason, he, he has to spend an action to use his. I don't like that. That doesn't seem um, fair or symmetrical at all that seems really weird i'm gonna look through every other person card and see if anyone else ever has to spend an action i don't know what i'm gonna do if i find out that they do i don't believe that there's a i mean that they don't uh okay father mateo from the core set has an action where he can grant people the focused condition so it's just Carson and Father Mateo. That does, yeah, that seems really odd to me. I gotta admit, I don't know if I like that. All right, so he's gonna grant her an action. So he only has one action on his turn. I need to remember that. Better yet, I think I'll just, there. Now he's taken his action. He's moved back to where he came from. And now she has one more action to spend. And of course she'll attack the cultist. Oh, right. So I go to the monster drawer, click on the cultist. He was, he's at five. With a really good roll, she could she could do away with him in one attack, but she, she would have to really, really roll well. What type of weapon will you attack with? Well, she's got a machete and it lists itself as a bladed weapon. You swing your weapon in a wide arc, intending to strike at your opponent's unprotected side. Agility, success of two. Okay, so unfortunately agility is not her strongest. I mean, it's not by any means her weakest. She's four agility, five strength. So it would have been better if it was a strength attack. Okay, well, she's got a clue token here, or a clue whatever. Uh, and she does have a clue token, which is good. So there's the clue token. Spin the clue token to convert that to a success. Actually, you know what? Mean has an ability. Once per round, you or another investigator could re-roll. So maybe I'll leave that on clue for a minute and re-roll this, see if I get a... Um, yeah, I can only re-roll one die. So re-roll one die, see if I get a success. Take that clue token back, thank you very much. That's not a clue token. Here's a clue token. So Rita's back with one clue. Mean no longer has her special ability for this round, but this is this is what they're for. So she gets two successes, which is all she needs to land this attack. If you pass, you catch your foe 
in the shoulder, badly injuring the arm on that side. The monster suffers damage equal to the weapon's damage, plus your test result. Oh, right. Okay, so now I'm going to walk this back again, because I forgot about that. So she has, so she's got her two successes and that clue. If she does spend her clue token, then, which I'm going to do right now, then she gets another success. One, two, three successes. Her machete gives her a plus two, so that is five. And then she would kill this guy with one swing. Yeah, I think I'm going to just do that. One, two, three, four, five. Confirm. That removes him from the board. Don't worry, cultists. There will be more of you very soon. Okay, so that's... Carson and Rita have both now completed their 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 turns. Uh, so Charlie Kane is way, way up there. And he needs to come around and unlock this door. So I guess that's what he'll do. He'll move one, two. One, two. <laughs> So if that's awkward, he's not quite there. That's really annoying. Mean could move one, two, and then take the key off of him. But then she still would be in the wrong space to make that happen this round. So I, I don't think there's any advantage here. Is there any? Do we have anything that allows us to, to make an extra move oh i forgot charlie kane oh he wasn't in range never mind he has a riot whistle but that wouldn't have mattered because he's not he wasn't in range to help to, to buff the party yeah it doesn't it doesn't really look like i have anything to sort of make this possible he just can't get to that door in time before the next mythos phase oh but mean still has her turn um what is she gonna do she could move over here and search the desk, but then she'd be farther away from this, which makes me nervous. I kind of want to have all hands on deck when we open that door. But you know what? I hate to... Uh, th that's my desire, but I hate to waste a move more than the desire to make that be true. So I think I'm just going to have her move here and 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 search through that search token. An end table stands against the wall, holding a telephone. Yep, we'll search that. You try the drawer, but warped wood has left it stuck shut. A strength roll could force it open. Okay, well, Mean has some interesting cards, including that cigarette case, which she can do a... she can convert a clued dice once per round. So let's see what happens. Two, just the two successes, I guess. But she does... Oh, but she's already granted Rita the re-roll, so she cannot re-roll. Can Charlie help her out? Charlie? No, Charlie only affects his own rolls, I think. While within range of a person, you may convert a clue to a star. Activate this once per test. That's Charlie. So that... I, I'm pretty sure that means his own... his own result. Yeah, okay, so two successes is what I'm I'm judging. I don't know if that's going to get this thing open. Two is a good number, usually, in this. With a powerful tug, you open the drawer, causing the phone to go crashing to the ground. Inside the drawer, you find an item that looks like it has been sitting there for quite some time. Gain the kerosene lantern common item, and then discard the token. Okay, the kerosene lantern. I don't know that we're going to need this. And And frankly... Fire is so dangerous in this game, I'm kind of hesitant to take it. Kerosene Lantern is a light source. You may discard this card to convert all clues to successes while attacking unarmed. That does seem useful. I don't remember Mean having a weapon, so she could go up to someone and just attack them unarmed and then convert all clue tokens to successes. I think that's everything for our investigators. Your hand begins to burn. This mythos event affects the investigator with the most items. Well, that's unquestionably mean. I th well, unquestionably. Four. She has four items. I thought she had more than that. Uh, Carson has a couple of items, but a lot of them are spells. And those, as far as I know, don't count as items. So he's only got three f 
like f I items and then two spell cards. I'm, I'm pretty sure those are different, you know, like card types. Ooh, but uh, Charlie actually has four things. So that's equal to mean. So it's really either Charlie or mean. Neither of them have literally the most. So I'll roll a die for it again. Uh, success will be mean. Clue will be Charlie. And that is, oh, you can't see it rolled off the table, but yeah, there it is. Um, or not off the table, out of the camera. Um, it's a success, so that's mean. The object in your hand glows with heat and you instinctively drop it. You nurse your hand while it is now scarred by an agonizing burn. Suffer one face down damage. Wow, just just, just da take damage. And drop a random item. Oh, I don't want to have to do that for mean, but I guess I will. I'll just kind of shuffle these cards, which, I mean, one of these items is not like the others, but um, I guess I'll just close my eyes. There we go. I'm closing my eyes. Just believe me. Uh, I'll do this one. Oh, no. Oh, okay. This is the old journal evidence. Okay. So I've never gotten from this game that dropping an item means that the item ceases to exist. So I'm assuming that on her turn, she can just pick that thing back up. She'll have to eat a, an action to pick it back up, which is annoying. But I, I don't think this is that big of a deal. I was afraid I was going to drop a kerosene lantern and catch everything on fire. That was my biggest fear. And that was the only mythos in, in the continuing tradition of the world's easiest Mansions of Madness playthrough I've ever witnessed. Like, I don't know why I'm not being attacked by like eight different monsters right now. Although, to be fair, I've been attacked by monsters. I just take them out quickly, which is really what you have to do as part of the strategy. Anyway, we're, we're just, just a step away from opening this door and finally getting into the attic. So I'll do that next time. Thanks for watching.